What's up guys, it's Rogue Deer here and welcome back to yet another amazing video on the channel. Today I thought I'd be showing you a deck that's just got support off the latest Phantom Rage booster box set, which is an amazing card that's come out for this deck and it's taken this deck to a brand new level because it's given it the ability that if you fail to OTK, you can actually just continue playing. So it's an amazing card. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this deck profile. We're going to be starting off with Trains here and it is, of course my favorite deck of all time. So we are gonna be playing Triple Bullet Train, just an amazing card, just a free special if you control a Earth Machine. Just a really good card. And in the end phase, if it's in the grave, adds you one back to your hand, which fuels your other plays for later on. So just amazing, just three of in my opinion. Moving on to the best level 10 train here, we got Triple Derek Rain. This card is insane once you realize that the pop effect of him being detached is not once per turn. His special summon is, but his effect to pop isn't, which helps you clear a lot of cards before you actually commit with, into your big XCs and swing for game. So he's just sort of like an insurance policy. The more times you can resolve his effect, the better your chances are of OTKing that turn. That's why you should play three of him. Moving on to the best level four train here, we got Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. Basically, it's your Monster Reborn of the deck. You summon him, he Monster Reborns one, and then he copies the level. So just with this one card, you can get into your XC's plays and potentially win the game because that's what trains do. So you should play three of him. Moving on for the one-offs here. Um, they're not that good. This is searchable, and if you really need a normal summon, search him out, normal him, and then you can get all your other trains on the board. And he is just really here for the Shadow Fusion synergy because he adds you a card in the end phase if he's in the grave. I have actually won a game off his effect before, of normal summoning him and using his effect to inflict 500 damage, and that was time. So there is some cheese with that card, but don't rely on that effect much. Moving on to the supporting engines here, we, we are playing Shadow Fusion, so we are playing the two best ones for this deck which is the beast and the dragon just draw one pop a back row dragon is especially useful if your opponent is playing a heavy back row deck because your main outs to it are in the side so because we want to focus on breaking those combo deck boards moving on to just amazing cards for going second here we've got three kaijus i think this ratio is fine gamma seal is the best one because he's the smallest that you can give to your opponent and you play two jizakiru because he is searchable off your spell if it gets destroyed so that is why I play these Kaijus. And he's also really, really big as well, which helps you swing in for damage. So moving on to the hand traps here, we are playing Triple Ash Blossom. Just, you guys know what Ash Blossom does. It's still one of the best hand traps to date since it came out pretty much. It can just hit anything that your opponent does more or less because whatever they do usually involves the deck, like drawing or specialing, sending, whatever. Ash can stop it, which is why I think you should play three. And moving on to the best hand trap, of this format still i believe is ciphering gamma an amazing card obviously if you draw this it's kind of bad and but that is a sacrifice you have to make to play gamma because gamma is just amazing with the negate and destroy and for example if you activate gamma and then they ash you you can chain the second gamma so that is always an amazing interaction there moving on to the spells here we got the searcher so of course we're going to be playing three the field spell Basically has two effects, but you mainly just use the, the second one during your turn, which is basically discard a card and add yourself a level 10 Earth Machine. The first effect does come up if you manage to special summon some uh, machines during your opponent's turn, which specials you one up the deck as well, so it's really nice as well. I think you should play three of this card, obviously, because it makes your deck more consistent. Moving on to the best card in the deck. This card is absolutely insane. Urgent Schedule, especially you summon two monsters out the deck. Just absolutely for free. Insane card. I wouldn't recommend you play this card at anything less than three. Just absolutely amazing card. And obviously, if you have it set and they blow it up, you get a search as well. So just insane. Moving on to the draw power here. I, of course, am playing Triple Pot of Desires here. Um, the deck does have a lot of three of as you've seen, so it doesn't really, unless you banish like both your Shadol's targets in the deck and you have the Shadol fusion, that's when it can kind of hurt, but realistically that never happens. And that's why I play Triple Pot Desires for the most consistency here and seeing this card to get those two free cards. We are playing, of course, the one terraforming. We do want to see that fuel spell as much as possible. Terraforming lets that happen. So that is why I'm, I'm, doing, I'm playing that. Moving on to the power spells here, we got Triple Shadow Fusion. This card is 
absolutely insane still every deck more or less puts out an extra deck monster so you, just you being able to use the materials from the deck is absolutely amazing because you get to pick what you send and we are playing two different types of shadows so i'll show you later on what we are playing but this card is absolutely insane it sucks that it can be ashed but if they waste an ash before you commit your train cards that's always really good because urgent schedule realistically is the one card that you want going through we are playing of course one call by if you see this card you just win the duel because you're amazing it's a one of and just basically stop those hand traps, stop the ash, stop ghost ogres that can be annoying. Yeah, that's why we're playing call by. And of course, for the three traps we are playing, it's of course triple infinite impermanence. Just amazing card. Doesn't activate triple tactical talents because it's not a monster, it's actually a trap. And just amazing card for negating those monster effects. And if you set it, it can negate a column as well, which is insane. So that's the end of the main deck, guys. We're going to be moving on now to the extra deck here. So for the extra deck, of course, we are playing one Hanger Knuckle. Um, this used to be really, really important going, well, if you fail an OTK, but now with the introduction of the new card, this card is still good, but it's not as good anymore. You don't rely on it as much. We are, of course, playing one Underclock Taker. Um, this card is useful in making your opponent's monsters really, really small and then just swinging over them once for game. That is why I play Underclock Taker. Very useful card. We are playing the Nightmare Phoenix, uh, just, you guys know what this does, just to help with the spell and trap removal, that's why I play Nightmare Phoenix. And the Pinter Stag, this is probably the best link in the deck. The ability to do piercing when your opponent, your opponent thinks he's safe, sets something, then you just make this guy and swing in for piercing damage, just absolutely insane. Okay, so we are moving on to the new card here, I don't actually own it yet, but this is of course double Zeus. This card is insane. Just slap it over any of your trains if you don't OTK them. And then the ability to just send all other cards on the field to the grave is just absolutely beautiful. Of course, I will be picking these cards up as soon as I can. I do think that this card is a must of in the deck and that it makes it that much better. Moving on to your generic train ratios here. We are playing double Gustav Max and double Juggernaut Lieb. These are your game winners essentially burn for 2k attack for 6k that's 8,000 damage total that's enough for you to kill them in one turn so just absolutely amazing this is not once per turn so if you can loop him you can do a lot of damage basically and leave is just insane card multiple attacks has 6,000 attack that is permanent by the way so if he somehow sticks around to your next turn uses effect again he'll be at up to 8,000 attack so just insane we are playing your Super Dora. This is your going first option here. If you're going first, you make him with a Derek Crane underneath and you have a quick effect pop and then he's unaffected by everything. So that is your going first play. I feel like two is quite useful as well. And for the last XCs here in the deck, we've got the one Sky Palace Gan Gandary or whatever, however you say this card's name. Just a really good card as well. The ability to burn as well can come up in time. If, for example, you're out of Gustav Max's, just make this card. Discard, um, detach Derek Crane, pop, burn, and then Derek Crane will pop again. So it's quite nice, this card. And then, of course, you can slap the big guy on top, and his attack restrictions don't apply anymore. And for the Shadol fusion targets, we are playing one El Shadol Shek. Amazing synergy because this is a machine earth level 10, so you can go into your Xyzers with this. And of course, El Shadol Construct, uh, for example, if you really need both Shadols in the grave, you want the draw and the pop in one turn, you can do that with El Shadol Construct. And of course, you can send your driver to the grave so you don't have to ever worry about drawing that card. So that's the end of the deck profile, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this brand new Train 2020 deck profile. Let me know what you guys would change in the description down below. Also, if you leave a comment, I reply to all of them. And thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more. It's time to